This weekend I played with Task Paper, Multi Markdown, Elements, and Envolt. Task Paper is a to do DTD task management system. And uh, Task Paper looks more like a plain text file because that is actually what it is. It's a plain text file. And the app Task Paper on Mac, I haven't tried it on iPhone or iPad. I've only tried it on the Mac. And uh, it was actually really good because you're working on a plain text file, but with all the task management features built into Task Paper, you actually have all that feature you need in, for example, bigger apps like OmniFocus things and so on. The only thing it lacks is actually notifications and uh, Siri integration and so on. Otherwise you can do all things you want to do in a GTD system. You can do reviews, next action, someday maybe planning and so on. Um, it also lacks um, better feature for uh, scheduling and uh, putting a due or a start date on items. Items. You can do that in task paper but um, not so easy and uh, you need to type the date in full. I would like to be able to type Friday and the software knows that I mean this Friday and converts the, the date automatically. That would be cool. So the big plus with the task paper is that it is a plain text file that you can edit on any computer, anywhere. But you only get the task management features if you use the task paper app. But the text file is compatible with any computer, any device, any app. That is kind of cool. So you can, for example, store your plain text file in Dropbox and edit it from anywhere. That is uh, a huge, big plus. As I said, I also played with Multi Markdown. Uh, I have always been interested in Normal Markdown. And I have learned to type with Markdown. But now I started to learn Multi Markdown instead. Multi Markdown is even easier to do nice looking documents, blogging, and so on. Really cool. And then um, I played with um, Elements text editor on my iPhone. It's a really great text editor that supports Multi Markdown, Dropbox syncing, and much more. And I also played with Envault notational velocity uh, mod. It's a free multi markdown editor for Mac and also other apps like Byword, Writing Kit and many more supports multi markdown. Envault uh, can be connected to your Dropbox account so you can uh, create and edit multi-markdown files in Envault and uh, open them on your iPhone in apps like Elements, for example. Totally in sync. And that is also very useful if you are writing something, especially something lengthy, because you can continue on your iPhone, iPad and come home and continue on your Mac, so it's really useful. And multi-markdown documents looks really beautiful and it's very easy. It's meant to replace HTML and XHTML. It makes it... Um, you can type a document and it looks like a plain text file and looks really beautiful, but it is actually fully formatted with links, bold, italic, paragraphs, lists, and so on. That is the cool thing with multi-markdown. 
and the document is uh, fully readable for anyone when you look at it as a plain text file. It looks nice, but if you open it in a multi down editor or parser, even online parsers, you get it fully formatted with links and everything, even images and so on. That is the cool thing with multi-markdown. And these editors, Envault, Byword, Elements, have a um, preview mode so you can uh, see how the document will look like when it's finished and formatted. And you can even export um, the document as a HTML file or a HTML source code or uh, copy to clipboard and so on. So it's very useful. So I recommend uh, Envault on Mac, it's free, and Elements costs money on your iPhone, but it's worth it, it's really cool. And uh, if you want a uh, professional writing user experience, um, you can buy Byword on Mac and also on iPhone, but I think Elements is better on iPhone. So that is what I have played with this um, weekend. I have uh, watched videos and uh, read a lot about it this weekend. It has been interesting and fun. I love to learn more things and learn about apps and so on. So I don't know if I will use Task Paper because I'm an OmniFocus user, uh, but on OmniFocus is more advanced and if you want something more uh, simple and uh, as I said supports plain text files then Toss Paper is really good. Uh, I will probably start using Multi Markdown when I'm writing. I don't write much because I'm a VG blogger. But uh, when I'm writing I will start using a Multi Markdown because when you have learned the language it's very easy to right like that and uh, the document looks nice and you can save them as plain text file and open them anywhere on any computer, uh, any device, any app. Envault has a nifty feature that you can uh, drag an URL to Envault and it converts it to a multi markdown file and in the preview window it looks really beautiful because it's formatted with readability. So, that is a nifty feature for a free app. Envault will uh, be on my computer and I will probably use it to open notes from um, Elements, for example. So, bye!